see what we get now. Here we go, they overlap a bit, but it's not really a problem. But you'll notice when I pressed the uh, start button, I'll just show you again. Um, this is just a good thing in case you get this with your own app. When I press the start button, the app crashes. This is because I've told it to run a certain method which isn't actually in the uh, main file, so it's I'm asking it to run something which doesn't exist yet. Um, all I'm going to do is just move this down a bit, so 100, so they don't overlap. And then what we want to do is set the boolean val value, so tell the app that the Stop watch isn't currently active. I'm going to set active to mobile, active equals no. For um, Boolean expressions, there's only yes or no. Um, you can't set string values or anything like that. Okay, so now we're done for the view did load. Next, we wanted to create the time start method. So void time start. And then two curly brackets. Okay, so now we want to check if the stopwatch if is active. So we go if all active, so this is whether it's active or not, equals equals, that's how you check. No. And then two curly brackets. And we'll say if not active timer main equals a ns timer scheduled timer with interval and then we want the target selector user info repeats scheduled timer with interval 1.0 div 1.0 the target has to equal self at selector and then we want timer control so basically we say um, it starts the timer and then in the timer control method which we'll create in a minute that's what will happen every time the timer repeats the user info is nil and it repeats yes it does next we want to set all active to yes because the timer is now active uh, then we want to change the title of the button because we don't want it to say start, we want it to say stop. UI control state normal, close bracket semicolon, and we want to set int time, which is the value equal to zero. Okay. And then we need to create an else statement. So else curly brackets. So we're going to say if if the time is currently active, timer main, and we want to stop it, so we're using validate. Next, we want to set bool active is equal to no. Um, and then we want to say that the button title. It's now equal to stop because we've started the we've stopped the stop stopwatch. Sorry, so we want to change the title to start, and then UI control state normal again. Close bracket semicolon, and then we're going to just put ns log um, at stopped. And I'm going to do the same back up here. Sorry so that we can tell if the timer is actually stopped. This is a good thing if you want to know how to uh, debug your program if something isn't working. Just add a semicolon onto the end of that. All right, now we can head on to the time control. So basically, every time this repeats here, this one divided by one, um, it's gonna perform this method. The two curly brackets again. So we're going to say int time plus equals one because we want uh, add a second. And when you do plus equals, that allows you to add the value that you've got here. 
equals means it will just set it equal to, so that wouldn't be useful because we just have a repeating value. And then we have label time dot text is equal to an NS string, string with format. And the format is going to be at quotation marks percent i, sorry, percent i, and then we want int time, close bracket semicolon, and then we want to log that again so we can check the values are correct. The stopwatch, sorry, the stopwatch has been going. Sent I seconds sorry percent I seconds close quotation and then in time again and now we're ready to run the uh, program so if we just hit run you'll notice we have our start button and then down here you can see the um, output window so our time has started and here we go, the stopwatch is working. And if we press stop, the uh, stopwatch has stopped and it's changed back to start. If we click that again, time will start from zero. If we press stop, there we go. So this is how you create a stopwatch uh, for just second intervals. Uh, thanks for watching. As usual, the uh, source code will be available on our website, ourdeveloperstream.com, and we've put the link in the description for your convenience. Bye for now.